Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for the invitation. So I'm going to speak about my research at the exoplanet group. So what we study, study are the atmospheres of exoplanets. So exoplanets are, as the name says, planets outside the solar system. And what uh, our group studies are a specific subgroup of, uh, of these planets, which are like the transiting exoplanets. And these are planets where the, the orbit of, of the planet around their host star. Uh, it's specially aligned such that we see the planet in front and behind the star, just like during a solar eclipse. So this, uh, these planets give us a lot of information about the, uh, the planets in order to characterize them. So for example, when the planet passes behind the star, uh, what we do is to measure is, uh, the light from the system as a function of time. So when the planet passes behind, the star is going to block the light from the planet so that drop in the, in the flux that we are measuring is a direct measurement of the emission from the planet. And in order to characterize the, in the atmosphere, we use the radiative transfer equation. That equation tells how light is transmitted uh, as it goes through, a, through an atmosphere. So how much it gets absorbed and how much goes through. So uh, by, by selecting some fundamental properties of, uh, of this atmosphere, uh, like the temperature, the pressure, and the molecules that constitute the atmosphere, we can model what would be the, the emission from the planet. And in that way, we can compare the emission from the, to, the, to the observations. So, uh, and the key factor here is that we observe a different uh, wavelength in the, in the spectrum of the planet. The wavelength is uh, just the different colors that compose light. So and the key factor for the, for the characterization is that each molecule in the atmosphere of the planet has a very specific fingerprint in the, in the spectrum. So take, for example, carbon dioxide. So this molecule absorbs specifically at 4.5 microns. So if we see that a planet uh, emits uh, particularly dim in this uh, specific range, we can infer that there is a lot of, uh, there is a significant amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So in summary, by measuring the relative differences of the planetary emission at different wavelengths, we can probe what are the temperatures and what are the molecules present in the atmospheres of extrasolar planets. So our final goal here is to, to find evidence of habitability. Are these, uh, is it possible for life to, to, to exist in this kind of atmospheres? We're still far from answering that kind of questions. But in here, we are taking the first steps toward that direction. Thank you very much.